This video will look at the collect employee input uh, HR task type in ServiceNow HRSD. So the collect employee input task type is basically the survey functionality recycled and it allows you as the HR fulfiller to uh, collect information from the employee um, after the case is already started. So it's kind of like a record producer, um, although it's, it's not a record producer, but it, uh, it, it gives a form for the employee to fill out uh, that you can collect additional information while you're working on a case. Um, it's, a powerful, it's a powerful concept to be able to do that, um, but out of the box, it's uh, a little bit, uh, it, it needs some tweaking to really get it to be useful. So in this video, we're just going to look at how we can easily make the, or somewhat easily, make the results available for the HR fulfiller uh, to see once the employee has completed the form. Uh, so let's just do an out-of-the-box run here. So I have a, a case opened uh, for myself, system administrator, and I'm going to go down here and add a task. And so the task type is going to be collect employee input and the employee form. I have one called pizza party and we'll set that to ready. Pizza party. Great. I'll save it. Uh, whoops. I have to assign it to myself. All right. So normally you would assign it to the employee. Uh, but just for purposes of this demonstration, we'll do it to myself. So now I have a task open for me. I'm going to go over to Employee Center, and I can see that up here, my tasks. Okay, here's Pizza Party. And here's our form. What toppings would you like? I'm going to say uh, onions. And what would you like to drink? I'll go with beer. And then I'll submit. Okay, so now I come back to the task and I will, I don't even have to, well, I'll, I'll refresh just for fun. And state is closed complete. Uh, so the survey was completed and you see the out of the box behavior is where the heck did the survey go? Uh, nowhere to be found. So you can map the employee form to the uh, to something like the HR profiles table, so that your responses would go back to that. And so, you know, I suppose you could go back to the form, to the like the HR whatever you map to HR profile, and uh, and look at that. But it's still not a great user experience that uh, the form the form got filled out and uh, <laughs> it's nowhere to be found. <laughs> um, so there is a way to remedy that. Um, well, there's two approaches here. Uh, the first approach, which we won't go into in this video, uh, but which I actually personally think is very powerful, is to map, to be able to map the employee form back to either this task, to, you know, we can create some custom fields on this task, um, or custom fields on the case, uh, the parent case of the task. Felipe Cruz has a great uh, article on it, on the community. I'll uh, put the link in the description. Uh, and I of this video, and I also extended Felipe Cruz's uh, solution a bit uh, to be able to send attachments back through the employee form. Um, so that's that's definitely one option. Uh, the problem with that option is it's complicated. You have to get into scripting, and you have to customize one of the script includes, uh, so it can get a little complicated. Uh, so in this video, we'll look at the second solution, which is simply to be able to see the uh, the responses or be able to get to the responses from this form. So if we go into, uh, so it, the, it is linked here, uh, but it's just not showing. So if we go to UI policies, um, let's see, first we have, well, there's, there's two policies that we need to change. So first one is show survey for survey task type. Uh, because, uh, like I said in the beginning, the collect employee input uh, task is actually just a recycled survey. Uh, so right here they have 
when HR task type is take survey, then you will show the survey and the survey instance. So we just change this to is one of either take survey or uh, collect employee input. Okay, then it will also show the survey instance. Uh, but then they have this other one where they hide the survey instance when the task is completed. I'm not really sure why they would do that, but uh, so state is close complete. Uh, so what you can do is just deactivate that. Uh, so now let's go back to our case. Oops, our task actually, we don't want to go back to the case. Okay, go back into our task. Uh, so here we are, we got the survey and we got the survey instance. Now the last piece to this is there's no click through set up on read only, so let's do that so we can click over. So configure the dictionary. Let me pull my attribute out. Uh, we go to advanced view. Okay, put a comma and read only click through equals true. Okay, so now we're back and now we have survey instance. Uh, again, if, if I were going to use this in production, I would probably have some sort of uh, client script that would go and change the label on this uh, to be like employee form instance or something like that. Um, as another aside, I mean, it's a, like I said, it's a powerful thing, this uh, collect employee input, but it's kind of half baked because all the labels, even on the on this side uh, of things, still say survey. So it's sort of confusing for the user. Um, okay. And in any case, with that uh, comment uh, already made, let's go to survey instance. So we'll click over to that. And so here you kind of get the raw values. You can see that here, but the best thing is use this related link, view users' responses. And now I can see, okay, system admin wants onions and he's gonna drink beer. Um, so again, not super, uh, super user friendly, uh, but better than it not appearing at all. And uh, the other solution is to map it back to fields either in the task or in the parent case, uh, but that takes uh, a bit of uh, work and scripting to, to do. So this is a good uh, sort of middle of the road solution.